A developing story tonight with details of another fatal police-involved shooting. Deputies in Spartanburg County shot and killed a man this morning while trying to search his home near Boiling Springs. News 13's Darren Patello has details on what led up to the shots being fired. Yeah, well, some of the neighbors around here describe the suspect who lived in the beige house as a good man and a good father. But all of the neighbors we spoke with say they're stunned. Their quiet middle-class neighborhood on such a beautiful day was turned into a crime scene just within minutes late this morning. Me and my kids were cleaning the house. We're on spring break, and um, I had fixed their lunch, and I'd walked back to go to the bathroom, and I came, like my kids came running in there and said, Mom, why is there a policeman at our house? Spartanburg County Sheriff's deputies had just shot and killed the man living behind Amanda Justice. I thought maybe it was a murder because I did see detectives, and I mean, the number of cop cars that we saw was just... You can't even imagine how many cops are around this area. Deputies say the unnamed man became belligerent during a search of his home on Belcher Road around 10 this morning. His wife and daughter escaped unharmed, but the situation quickly escalated. Male resident remained agitated and at some point grabbed a gun off the top of the refrigerator pointed it at our officers and our two traffic officers returned fire. The deputies who shot the man came as backup, joining narcotics investigators already trying to search the house with a warrant. I mean, it's scary, I think, especially having kids and thinking that we could have been in the backyard playing or something, you know. The two deputies will remain on administrative leave while both SLED and the sheriff's office conduct separate investigations. But the sheriff's office does have the authority to send the two deputies back to work before SLED comes back with any findings. In Spartanburg County, Darren Botello, News 13. Just moments ago, the coroner's office identified the man killed by deputies as 28-year-old Philip Michael Burgess. The coroner says the body will be sent for an autopsy.